Hello YouTube, uh, this is Agnator Frost with MightyFan217 And we're bringing you the second episode of Zoo Tycoon 2 Which I should have... What's the loading bar? I have to ask that Radical Remake <laughs> So that's their loading bar, I see Yes it is This is something I've been meaning to get done for a while now I tried to do a second episode a while back It failed miserably Uh... So, yes, this is my second episode. And I will bring you up to date on everything that's happened since then, because I have actually gone in and done a few things. Most importantly, I have more Spinosaurus, which have bred, and I have a Super Spinosaurus, which is absolutely massive. Hmm. <laughs> what would you expect from the largest carnivore? Hmm. <laughs> Alright then. Oh. But oh. why, why do you have so many pursuit balls? Because it's the cheapest thing. Well, man. Also, first things first, I will show you. There are a lot of coelophyses now. I can uh, see that. These things bred like crazy. Over here, which is this is another new addition. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, here they are. A pair of Stokiosaurus, one of which is a super. Oh, it's this one. Female, I believe. Yes, it is. Okay then. I also bred a Stratosaurus. I may have bred a second. Oh no, I bred two. Hmm. One of these is also a super. That's not Styracosaurus, that's Pachyrhinosaurus. No, this is Styracosaurus. And why was that one Pachyrhinosaurus? Because I have them in a mix exhibit. Oh. Pachyrhinos also yeah. bred, and I also bred a super Pachyrhinosaurus. I bred a lot of supers. It's also this guy, which... Acrocanthosaurus, which have already bred. Or did I breed this? Okay, no, this one actually was bred. <sighs> fossil. Yes. To put it on, fossil. You've also got this exhibit Ophthalmosaurus, Ichthyosaurus, and around here somewhere there should be Ammonites. On. Well then, this exhibit isn't crowded at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Here you are, the Super Spinosaurus, which has a noticeable size difference. Yep. Here we. I'm not going to question that. What do you mean? It would say it got beached on land, but it didn't. And here we have insects. Well, not technically insects. This is Arthoplora. And I see it uh, uses Komodo dragon animations. Yeah, there's nothing really that can be done with that. At least at the moment. True. And this is... Yufubaviria. And here, Ooh, Sirius, okay. which you've already bred, and possibly bring again, I'm sure that's new or old. And there's one, there's a pair of, uh, oh no, here's the other. There's a pair of Plesiosaurus, one of which is super. Like I said, I've bred a lot of supers. Ah, ooh, more famous, yay. <coughs> ah, then. That's all taken care of. 
Let's get on to the next animal. Ah, uh, ta 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 ta. I had quite a few new amulets between uh, episodes. Hmm. Ooh! Dinotherium. Nice! Going high tech. Oh, no. Is this that massive grassland map that you have? Yep. This is still the same map. I mean, do you realize you're kind of boxing in a zookeeper there? That's not a zookeeper. Yes, it is. That's a paleontologist. Oh. <laughs> is this one actually on land? Yes, this one actually is on land. What the heck? Oh, no. Well. <sighs> they really don't give you a whole lot of time for that. So then, before we do anything else. <sighs> yep. And now I still gotta get more thoughts. Ooh, Liopardon. That will come later. Are you sure that, that was what you lost? It wasn't it of, of Thomas Horse? No, it was Ichthyosaurus. Okay then. Well, only one turn for that one. No. I do have the mod that makes it easier to get fossils. Which, by default, also. Yeah. <laughs> It's not beached! I'm not going to question it, it's due to stupidity. <laughs> okay then, so you are a savannah animal. Also, buying was just upgraded. <laughs> Let's see if anything like if it'll actually do anything with that. Thylacine. And Rugops and Gorgosaurus. Oh. Wow, those things are coming in fast. You Tyrannus, I just saw. Yeah. Oh, I can build Gorgosaurus now. I may do that. itself. And this is actually a new animal, it just came out a few weeks ago. It's kind of skinny for what it is, you know. Well, to be fair, it's not technically an elephant. Hmm. These things are distant relatives and not in the same lineage. By the way, you did place an exhibit gate, right? Ooh, I forgot about that. 
the and here is the one bad thing about this particular uh gate. I can't put a vent a staff gate in it, so I have to replace it with another one. And temporarily which temporarily freeze them, but it's paused. No danger of them escaping. And that's settled and Okay, but I <laughs> <laughs> apparently I can't do it with this one either. What did you do for the other one then? No. I know what the problem is. It's not this it's not this, it's this. It's the uh, hitbox, basically. Yeah. Okay, then. So. That's the problem with mods, I won't say that. Eh. What are you gonna do? Oh, I've got quite a few I haven't done anything with. You have to uh, unpause it. Yeah, for... I forgot about that. By the way, is this his own original fossil? Nope. This is using another fossil. I do not remember which one. I believe this is the T Rex fossil. But I could be wrong on no, that. No, it's Stokesaurus, if I'm correct. Ah. Uh, uh, actually, yes, it is, because I remember doing Stokesaurus. And I remember the Tyrannosaurus one, it's a ton of pieces on that, so... That's gonna be fun. When you get Tyrannosaurus, uh, be prepared to uh, literally work on the most complex puzzle in the uh, research lab for you. That's gonna be fun. Ooh, here we go. Same thing? Yeah. I'm not actually gonna place it, but I'll make it. What? Uh. What? Ah, uh, the Rugops fossil. It's the exact same one I've been doing. <laughs> when I actually got place this thing, I had a request to place it, but when I tried it last time I tried to record the episode, it kept breaking through the uh, fence. And when I say breaking through it, I mean it phased through it. <sighs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Most of these I'm not actually going to place, but it's fun to do the puzzles.
Gothenburg. <laughs> yep. Um, you do realize that what the? Oh, and get to this quickly. It's a pickup. There. It's December. Does that also happen in the unmodded game as well? I'm assuming yes. That is awesome. So they still have that. I'm glad they do. Oh, come on! Yeah, I should have went in the zookeeper mode and healed it. <sighs> I swear these things have poor hitbox things of them. Yeah. That one was Ophthalmosaurus. I'm tempted to just make a lot of Plorodon and dump it in there. Because I don't have to worry about it getting beached because it can actually move on land. In fact, why don't you make a lot of Plorodon? Okay. If I did that, I'm gonna make it a hybrid. Oh, if I actually did that, I would make it a hybrid exhibit. Which is not. I haven't actually. Finally, got to take it out of the uh, tank. Oh, whoops. <sighs> I could have sworn I had, in fact, put ammonites in. Here. Oh wait, here they are. Or there's one at least. And there's the other. Okay, okay so who's hungry? You're hungry. I'll put one fish in. <sighs> okay then. Did I not kiss? Up here. And this will be a hybrid exhibit. So I will put this here. I gotta worry about particularly high uh, fences.
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's the pink elephant thing. I never actually seen this happen in the uh, uh, normal freeform mode. Uh, I think this only happens with uh, animals that are bred from the uh, extinct research lab. Anything for guests here, though. You sure about that? Thank you. I never set up any. Uh, I haven't set up a guest a guest part yet. You sure? Yes. The extinct research lab itself. That's where it's the balloons. I can't take oh, a sample. Can you even do nope. Nope, it's not the balloons. You sure you don't have anything that just use here? There's nothing in here. The tank filter? Ah, let's give it a whirl. Nope. Okay, this is confusing me beyond all reason. As far as I know, these diseases aren't life-threatening, are they? Um, uh, I have no idea. Ah, <sighs> joy. If it's not life-threatening, I might, I would have just ignored it and. Because there are uh, mods that get rid of diseases altogether. Look in the uh, garden you have. Um, it might be there. Um, place a random guest object of some sort and scan that. Like, maybe just place a bench and scan that. No, it couldn't be. What? Uh, I should 
This isn't something the guests use. <laughs> this ain't something the guests use, though. If I remember correctly, during the demo, the last time I did the demo for this. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm an idiot. What? What? Did, what was it then? Uh... Cotton candy? Uh, might be. I'm in it. There we go. That is absolutely. Oh, wait, what? It's, uh, cured now, so... When did you grow up? Okay then, back to this. Well, that was a bit of an entertaining annoyance. Ah, entertaining, huh? Yep. Uh, entertaining for you. What are you doing? Getting the biome for the uh, bipartisan. First, don't you want to set up defenses first? I did set up defenses. Where's the water? The water will come. Oh, not this again. What is with those hitboxes regarding those things? I don't know. One of the Amnites is sick. their efficiency that is one thing I do like about assigning they will only act within their assigned assigned exhibit yep which maximizes the efficiency yep okay now then. the water Oh, you do realize none of the guests can use that, uh, right? Ah, uh, there is a method behind my madness.
They have to be placed in yeah. the, uh, this, this is the thing is actually amphibious, like after I could. Oh well. That gets old after a while. Now just get the uh, second one. Yep. Uh, da, da, da. Now here they use uh, turtle animations. They do. And something which is really... How is this thing thirsty? Wait. Wait. It has no thirst need. What? I don't even. <laughs> I, t I don't even. So what were you saying about the lab hurting? They also have unique animations while feeding it. That was one of the reasons I was debating on mixing them in with the others. Thinking it might be time for me to start uh, releasing some of these into the wild. You know what? I got a better idea. Since I've got so much room here, I'm going to make a new exhibit for them. And hopefully this one won't... Uh, I'm not thinking this one's gonna overfill anytime soon. If it does, there is a problem. But it should be fine. It's not symmetrical, but I will make this one the exception, given the general necessity for it to be this size.
that I had actually anticipated I might have to do this at some point. Which is why I left a lot of this, a lot of the area open. Enough, but worth a try. I'm back. I'm building a new sponsor exhibit. Why a new one? Because that! You made it too small, you dumbass. I didn't expect them to breed so quickly. Or ex or have that many at a time. By the way, did they fix that glitch with the water? I'm going to see if I can get away with a little bit of water, or maybe have two different water sources, if that's going to do anything. I am hoping I can get away with this, because I really enjoy these wetland water exhibits, or water, uh, parts. I might also ask around to see if there is a patch for it. I can't be the only one who's had this problem. And if I am, then I just, I don't even... See the faces. Six. 
So my hopes is the sheer size of the exhibit compared to the small size of the war earth where it's actually going to negate the glitch. That's my hope anyway. If hmm. it might not work that way, but <sighs> where's a shot? Obviously, this is a massive exhibit. Yep. So these should have plenty of room for a while. Jeez, how many do you have? A lot. These things bred like rats. Oh wait, this one's already been put here. The sheer number of them is I don't even. Alright. Put in the new keepers. Actually, I put three in because of the sheer size of it. since I don't particularly care to have this exhibit go to waste. to a crocodile exhibit. Do that in the middle of the video. I can mute if you want, you know. <sighs> Should I? As up to you.
Ooh. I got an albino out. So are. I'm not expecting that. avoided. I think this has been a good day. More or less. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, this has been Harry Tour Pros with my fam 217. This has been Zoo Tycoon 2. We got a bunch done. Uh, come already subscribe. Any requests you have, let me know. I will try to get it in. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you like, what you didn't like. And signing out.